up? Welcome to Toad's TV, episode three. three. <laughs> I'm Charlene. I'm JD. Okay, so today we're gonna cover a wide variety of things. First off, Chirami Aquarium. How was your experience there? Because unfortunately we didn't get to go together. We went at separate times. Yeah. But it's pretty cool though, basically, this uh, aquarium is located north of Nago. Mm -hmm. And it's really big because they got so much going on there. There's different things you can do. Uh, I totally missed the dolphin show. Did you see the dolphin show? Yeah, and we have pictures of the dolphin show too. Okay. Talk about the dolphin show. And we'll the show dolphin pictures. show was amazing. They have different types of dolphins than we're used to back home. Like, for, we're both from California. So, um, the dolphins, almost, one of them almost looked like killer whales because they didn't have the pointy mouth and nose. It just was like round, like if I did it this way, it was like... The black one, wasn't it called like a false killer whale? Yeah, something like, it almost, yeah, I think, yeah, I think you're right. And the other ones just looked like, um, well they weren't exactly like the ones back home, but pretty close to it, so. And they did awesome tricks, like they did flips and like skidded on their like, like. <laughs> 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 so it was pretty fun and I like because I'm so sensitive when it comes to animals I almost cried because it's oh, so wow. beautiful. Me and Maria, we almost cried. The aquarium itself is huge though. Yeah. The whale sharks, right? Yeah. Th those are the main attraction and they're ginormous. Oh I know and they're in this huge tank like it's a ginormous tank. It's like three stories high or something like that and like the whale sharks, there's like four whale sharks in there and like sea turtles and all kinds of different fish and stingrays, the huge manta rays were in there. It's insane. Totes tons of fish. Yeah. I, I have to say by far though, my favorite part of the whole thing was get, getting to see the turtles. I think it's a pen any, but yeah. they're amazing. I love sea turtles. Go crush! <laughs> <laughs> you get to see tons of them too. Uh, there's different tanks that you can see of the, the turtles itself. Really the little cool itty bitty baby ones. The little bitty baby ones. Oh, those all get old. Oh my god, I wanted to steal one, but then I was like, what do I do when it gets big? I can't keep it in my tub forever. They have a pretty cool shark tank too. Yeah. Really cool stuff. They had bull sharks in there. Definitely. Those are like the most killeriest killer sharks. They're more aggressive than great It's sharks. fun for the whole family though. Definitely check it out. They have a really cool website. The link is in the description. Yeah, and there's plenty more stuff we still haven't seen, so um, we'll make sure to keep you up to date on what else is on there. Now we're going to do a couple reviews for you. We went to the movies yesterday, and we saw Thor and Bridesmaids. We made a double feature on a Friday night. We did. Yeah. And uh, first up is Thor. It was better than I expected it would be. I think it was for me, too. I, I thought it would. It was going to be you know pretty boring, but they actually had some decent humor in there, which you know, kind of kept me going. And yeah. uh, the special effects were pretty cool too. Oh, I know. And it was like super loud too, which I guess made it better. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were in the front row, so yeah, it's going to be loud. True. Yeah. But it just kind of makes you want to go into another realm and just you know, see what else is out there in this galaxy. But... I said this in the theater. I wish there wasn't a love theme in every single... This, yeah, it didn't fit into this movie well. Yeah. And you thought there would have been a purpose behind it. They literally knew each other for, what, a day and a half? Two right. days, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh my God, they're so in love!" And she changes him in two days. Like that, I don't know. That doesn't really make sense to me. And the chemistry just didn't work out. Yeah. Other than that, you know, they're just, they were just attracted to each other. Yeah, I didn't see the chemistry. She more, she looked at him more of like as like a piece of meat, and part of her. I don't know. It was like part you know her her, her study subject. Pretty yeah. Much. Like that's, and then it turned into this whole thing. I don't know. And I guess Iron Man is like intertwined with that because of. Uh, yeah, it's part of the Avengers, actually. Yeah. And and I don't know if the purpose behind this love story that they had between each other is going to be the driving force in bringing him back into um, our realm. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that spoiler alert. <laughs> we didn't do that for the other movie. But we'll do it for this one. Yeah. And. You know, maybe that's the reason why he's coming back is to be with her again. We'll see in the Avengers, which comes out next year. Yeah, and who is the brother? Lily or Lily or Le Leaky or... I don't remember what the brother's name was. Yeah, it's something like that, but he was a bad guy. 
and I called it from when I first saw him. You could just see, because they, they would just show his face and he wouldn't be saying anything. He'd just have this serious look on his face. And like, he what's was that very about? manipulative from day one when he was in the movie. So, yeah. But all in all, I know it's, it hasn't gotten the best reviews, but it was good. I liked it. Better than expected. Three and a half out of five stars yeah, for that one. I would give it three. Just because, again, didn't like the romance. Love Natalie Portman. Our next movie is Bridesmaids. Freaking four stars. I love that movie. It was hilarious. Oh my god. I couldn't get enough of that. Kristen Wiig. Oh, I know you're not going to watch this because you're famous. But, uh, love you. Oh my god. Totes love you so hard, Kristen Wiig. So hard. So hard. Ugh. Anyway. Um, yeah, love the movie. It was hilarious. Not your, not a chick flick whatsoever. It had your chick flick, you know, flavors like puppies, cute boys, <laughs> flavors, <laughs> <laughs> love interests, a uh, wedding. What girl doesn't like a wedding? Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Mostly puppies. Mostly puppies. <laughs> <laughs> cute puppies <laughs> and pink. You know what, I, I really enjoyed Kristen Wiig um, because she actually, um, it was nice to see her say the F word. Oh, I know. Because, you know, we're watching her on SNL all the time, we can't, you know, curse on television. Yeah, she was hilarious. And she showed her, well, she didn't show her boobs, spoiler alert, but uh, there's this <laughs> one scene, it's hilarious. With the cars? <laughs> where she's trying to get a cop's attention and she's like going in her car back and forth breaking the law because she knows that's gonna get to him and she drives past holding her boobs and not the wheel. <laughs> I was rolling the entire time during that scene because oh she was God. just doing, you know, ghost riding the whip and then, you know, blasting the music, littering, just Oh everything. yeah, she like threw trash out of her car and yeah, the she only... went by all gangster <laughs> like Right? Yeah. The only thing they were really missing was just like planking on top of the car as they were driving by the cop. That's probably what it would have been it, but <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that that movie is hilarious, and the the food poisoning scene was pretty. Oh good. my goodness! They didn't hold back with that one. Yeah, that's all we're gonna say about that. Yeah, but we'll, <laughs> we won't spoil that for you. You gotta watch the movie yeah. for that one. That is an experience. That's like a banana show comparison, <laughs> yeah. but uh. Overall, it just it keeps you going the whole movie, and yeah, definitely four stars for that one. Yeah, love it. The show. Okay, now we are going to talk about the um, AFN or Air Force Network, right, TV thing. And they do the dumbest commercials in the world, literally. I think it's a requirement, though, not to do dumb commercials, but to make their own. Just because, you know, um, because of laws and everything, copyright laws, they're, yeah. they're not legally allowed to, um, to air certain things like commercials. Because whenever they have the Super Bowl here, they can't air commercials. So um, they have to make their own commercials about military stuff, and I think they have to have a certain amount of that um, within the day, like content-wise. But um, basically what the commercials are about is restrictions that go on, on base and off for military and um, pretty much anybody that's living like here on base and stuff. And uh, they'll have stuff from, you know, like no littering to Know, you know, locking up your cars because people, you know, will go into your car and steal your stuff. OPSEC, it's everyone's responsibility. That means operational security, you know, not leaving your social security number, you know, on your car door, or <laughs> things like that. So. And shoplifting, you know, don't do it. Yeah, like putting, putting a 75% off tag on, you know, something that's not on sale is yeah. still stealing. Yeah. So yeah, we decided to put our own spin on a commercial of our own, kind of spoofing, you know, a couple of commercials. We just combined ourselves, thanks to Elliot Bazell, who requested this. <laughs> so here you go, Eli. Enjoy. Excuse me, sir. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, What's this? A government vehicle for personal use? Well, this is for uh, group stuff, so it's it's official. Is it the camera? So this is official too? 
Well, yeah, because I, I PT, so uh, I, I sweat, and it's important not to have bad body odor in the, uh, the, uh, at work. Sorry. To have customers. That looks like coffee and donuts, sir. Uh, no, no. Maybe this uh -huh. one's too. Yeah, is that to hold the coffee and there's donuts? No, there's no donuts. I don't have coffee or what donuts. What donuts? Did you eat them all? What's in it? I didn't eat any What's donuts. What's in it? What is this, I mean, sir? I didn't buy, it's an official. Is um, this a duster. twist donut? <laughs> well, it, it wouldn't taste for you. Oh, twist and donut. you got this. Well, it rains a lot in Okinawa, so it's it got to be prepared. You making it rain someplace? Um, I usually do when I can. Like at Chi Chi sometimes, and but only for official use. Sure. Any price has been changed? Because you know that's stealing. No, it's it's all government GSA paid, so it's it's official. Well, official to me. Don't do it. I, I didn't know. I didn't know that we couldn't do stuff for government It's government a vehicles. government vehicle, sir. Yeah, I didn't know, though. Not knowing is not an excuse. Come on. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was um, a lot of fun filming. <laughs> That literally took two minutes to do. <laughs> Real quick. Real quick. We're pros like that. You One know. take wonders. What? <laughs> like, here we come, Hollywood. <laughs> so, we got a question today via Skype from Roxanne. And again, we always say, ask us a question, and some people ask, well, what kind of question? And we literally say any question you want. Like, it does not matter. It's what she came up with. Yeah, she came up with something crazy. <laughs> Why did J-Lo and Mark Anthony divorce? Your take? Maybe um, J-Lo's too much for him. Because she got her body back. She still looks good for her age. She had twins, what, a few years back? Yeah. I think at 07. She got her rump all... Right again. Still got the booty, right? Yeah. Yeah, but then you know, with all that money, you can tighten stuff. So yeah. Just of course, it's all gonna look good. Personal trainers. That's what's great about being a celebrity, though, because you can take time off and, and just work out. Right. For me, I'd have to take leave and then and do that. And myself. then they can pay for people to like get them out of bed, literally, and make them work <laughs> out, which is what I need. I don't know. I personally think J Lo is high maintenance because. Why else would you wear mink on your eyelashes, J-Lo? Oh, it's getting personal right now. Serious? Serious? It's getting real. You really need an animal on your eyeball? Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, but, okay. I want to put little puppies on my eyeballs. That way when I blink, it's like... Oh. Okay, Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just think that, and I guess there's a rumor that Mark Anthony cheated on her with the flight attendant, but again, I still think she's high maintenance. And she's been married like four times. Like, come on, there has to be a reason. I'm just saying. You know, she's about to set a world record here. Yeah. But I'm sure somebody's already, you know, beyond that record. And I'm sure she's gonna get four. married again. Well, I think that's all we have for today. Until next time. Pretty short topics, but um, we'll have a lot more, you know, next weekend. Okay. <laughs> 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 it was a slow week this week but we'll have more for you next time. And again, post questions below or on our Facebook page and just let us know what you want to see and what you want answered and we'll definitely put that in. Requests like Eli's, you know, we pretty much do it all. So just let us know. And um, until then, we'll talk to you later. Arigato gozaimasu. Totes gozaimasu. I'll wake up, do some planking with my ex Meet a nice girl, then plank on her next And she's gonna scream out, totes, this is great This is great Yeah, I might mess around, planking on a tree I bet my old man would be so proud of me It's on Facebook, everyone can see Oh yes, I said it